Hey guys, it's Jenna here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making a spooky TBR jar. I am in the most tremendous book slump, but I have a TBR cubby at all times and in that cubby it's mostly spooky reads. So the cubby is going to be staying mostly the same, but I figured I would make kind of like a compilation video because I'm going to be putting a lot of spooky reads in this little mug. Um, so that we kind of just have more variety than just what's in the cubby. Then you'll know what's in the jar so that if I actually start making videos again and you see this jar pop up, you know what titles are in here. Uh, first and foremost being I Would Like to Finish I Find You in the Darkness by Alpha. I've started this. I'm not too far into it. I'm literally only 16 pages into it. So, yeah. Uh, next, I would also really like to get to Pretty Boys Are Poisonous by Megan Fox love Megan Fox. My Father's Eyes, My Mother's Rage by Rose Brick. The Way Forward by Young Pueblo. And then for the regular books, um, a lot of these now that I'm looking at them kind of fit the spooky genre for fall. Um, honestly, all of them do, in my opinion anyways. Like all of them just kind of give fall energy. So the first book we have going into the jar is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Next, we have Home Before Dark by Riley Sagar. For romance, we have Promises and Pomegranates by Sav R. Miller. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling. Next, we have When Life Gives You Vampires by Gloria Duke. Next, we have Legends and Lattes by Travis Baltry. Next, we have Lola and the Millionaires Part 2 by Catherine Moon. Next, we have Bloodshed by Molly Doyle. Next, we have My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Next, we have Bunny by Mona Awad. Next, we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. And then we have Supernatural Witches Canyon by Jeff Marriott. That is all I have for right now. So what I'm going to do is queue up my Gossip Girl um write down all of these titles right here okay let's see if i can actually pick up the stack we're gonna take this stack and write all the titles down we're going to add them to the jar and then afterwards i'm probably going to go through my bookshelves and um i don't necessarily want to pull all the books off because the whole point of me doing a compilation video was that I didn't have to have all the physical copies in one spot. So I might just go through the shelves and like show you guys each book and then I'll just use my footage to add them to the jars just so that they're in the jars but then they can be on the shelves until they come out of the jar. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, another book I am going to be adding to the spooky TBR jar is Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I'm gonna be adding Flock by Kate Stewart. Next, we are gonna be adding Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. We are gonna add Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. Woo! I just gotta salt it by Squish. Ooh. The Way of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. Next, we also have She is a Haunting by Trang Tan Tran. The House Across the Lake by Riley Sagar. And then I also do want to add The Diviners to my TBR. I would like to reread this and continue on with the series because I did enjoy the first book and it's actually pretty spooky. I think I might try to get the audiobook again. Next, I will be adding The Stolen Air by Holly Black. Next, I will be adding How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. And then we also have Final Girls by Riley Sagar with my custom black sprayed edges. For rereads, I'm going to be rereading Scream For Us. I can't find the copy right now. I'm gonna be adding Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. Next, I think I'm gonna add Belladonna by Adeline Grace. We're gonna add Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. Oh man, there's a couple good books in here and they're so hard to get to. Why do I do this to myself? Should I just list off the titles? So yeah, let's just do that. The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. I'm seeing Edenville by Sam Rebeline or something like that. Bad Omens by Melissa Albert. I think we'll call that good for now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is finish putting all those books that I just showed you 
and all the ones that I said down. And this might be a crazy concept, but I feel like I'm missing books. I'm about to write those all down, and then when they are all written down and cut out, I will show you guys me adding them all to the jar, and we'll call that good. Okay, and as a finale, I have just finished cutting up all of the book titles that are going to be going in the spooky jar. There are a ton. It doesn't look as, like a whole lot like folded, but there was actually a lot. It was two full pages. Um, so now we get to add them all to the jar. And then I also have these little um, reading list printout bookmarks that I got off of Timu. And I made one that is going to be curated specifically for the spooky TBR jar. reading lists and it has a whole list and then it also comes with star ratings I think that's so fun and yeah there's my spooky tbr jar so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time for a new video